He has put up with me. I know one day he will surprise me. Yeah, sometimes I even wake up at night eh, and just watch him sleeping and I'm like What's going on in this man's head really? No, what is it? Think about it. You would you marry me? You see how he's thinking about it? He cannot make any rash decisions right now. He's weighing his options. So that's how I am. I look at him and I'm like, hmm, when is he going to come to his senses? <laughs> so I'm still in shock. I cannot believe it. But he didn't ask me to marry him. He told me. Hey, but you can't risk asking, asking Anne. Can't see me. Whether they will marry you. What are the chances that she will give you a proper yes? Without giving you a run around. So he told me. Woke up one morning and he had left a ring in like the second drawer next to our bed and he called me and said, hey babe, uh, in, the second, there's, uh, <coughs> in the second drawer, eh, you go, you see, uh, che- that the sentence was not even coming out. He didn't know whether to just send me a message. And I went and there was a beautiful ring. I'm like, okay, they could have been earrings. It can be a necklace. Why is it a ring? So I called him and asked him, I was like, babe, what's this? And he said, yeah, tell your parents we are coming next month. (laughs) He didn't ask. He told me what to do. That's what a real brave man does. (laughs) Because love, love is not easy, you know. It's not at all, at all, I'm telling you. We keep watching your movies with these sponsors of ours. We watch your movies and we have totally been misled. Because we look at them and we wonder whether what we do is love. Or it's just fellowship. No, no, Africans, we really haven't gotten the, that grip. Okay, of course, ha, then my Randy's brothers and sisters exaggerate everything. Today I landed and I was welcomed by people who, first of all, they all look alike. So you want to compliment them one by one, but you, you don't know who is beautiful, who is beautifuler, who is, they are all beautiful, you know? No, no, my goodness, this is the truth. And you have to give credit to a woman who can say another woman is beautiful, when they don't intend to sleep with them. You know, these days it's complicated. So these women are so beautiful. Oliver, my host, my goodness. And then she has her sister. I don't know who is who. So I still have to struggle. You know, you pass by and they see for themselves. Just come here and they see for Just come, please, Oliver. Come and pass here and we shall see. Do you see what I am talking about? What is this? And it's all hers. She didn't buy anything apart from the hair, of course. <laughs> eh? No, she's really amazing. I've been treated so well. And then I'm having people pecking me. Ki- Why? No, no, no. You do not peck a mochiga. For us, that's intimacy of the highest order. You peck me, you better be ready to take me home. But, but chiga, you know what I'm talking about. You don't go around kiss, kissing someone. So they're all happy to see you, they peck, peck you, and then walk away. So you, you leave heartbroken. <laughs> you're like, I thought you were starting something. Only for them to end it immediately. So yes, they're very, very beautiful people. And you're very good at expressing love, unlike Bachiga. Mm, you know, our love is in 3D, it's hard. Everything is hard. And then when you're married to, a, to an Acholi man, it's worse. It's worse. It's worse because he's trying to show you, you're trying to show him, you have no idea, he has no idea. So they are busy trying to help each other. Because how do you say I love you in Kinyaranda? It's Ndagukunda Chane. Now listen, it sounds fantastic, Ndagukunda Chane. You know, it's, it's very good. It's fantastic. How do you say in, in Kiswahili, it's... Nahupenda sana. You know, it sits very well. Do you know how Muchiga tells you they love you? Ndakukunda munong. It sounds like a threat. You don't know whether the relationship is starting or ending. And wait for tomorrow. 
No, it's hard. And when we watch your movies with <laughs> Do you know how they fall in love in uh, our sponsors movies? <laughs> First of all, they show you a scene of some lady with hair like hers. <laughs> and they are wearing these uh, they are jogging. They wear those bras. I don't know why do you do that? Why do you jog when there is nothing? When you have just covered very little? No, in all the movies, how come? We run in Uganda. You think for us, we, we don't have hot temperature. Eh? So you watch such a movie, and then she's jogging, and they put her in slow motion, and the breasts are bouncing slowly. And then, even when she's sweating, the sweat is falling in slow motion. And then before you know it, there's a guy seated on the bench and then they see and they're like I want you to tell me. Because if I do the same thing, this is what is going to happen. Remember they show us slow motion. You when you are running, you look like you're lost. In 3D, it's not good. And these things betray us, they will even slap you in the face if they are enough. And that is what we are being told is a love scene in a movie. It's unfair. And the sweat, at what point is a sweating woman sexy? Really, explain to me. No, then look, to, look at her. Imagine her sweating. The last thing on your mind is being in love with such a woman. So we are being mysterious. Stop it. So we do those things and we are seeing up to very suspicious ages because we are following your example. And as if that's not bad enough, they, they are, but they can sing music. Eh, eh. I'm telling when John Legend sings this Erindi, Yoni, Mariah Carey, you allow. You're like, eh. Yes, it's Mariah Carey. Who is it? No, no, if you're born where I'm born, really, it's only Mariah Carey. You don't know how to say it differently. But you know who I'm talking about. So stop pretending. Yeah, that's the musician I'm talking about. They make it seem like love is okay. Yeah, they will sing, and I, and you feel in love before they even say it. But what love song will I sing for Mr. Ojok? In my local language. Aha. Uh -huh. Do you have any love song in a chori? My sisters, help us. You see how she's thinking so hard. They have songs about, hmm? but they will not have a good song about love. So love is complicated. We are being misled from the beginning to the end. And where in Kabare? <laughs> the first love song I heard was Rukundo ni Rukundo wa Jenzi Titkwine chindu choku jeta Rukundo yoku Shabechi ganyiro ni Rukundo You see, they are happy but they are the only ones The rest of you don't know whether I'm singing a love song or a hunting song Now that's the pressure That's how we are misled And as if that's not bad enough I can't stop wondering at what point did, okay, it's okay if you bring religion, religion is good. We brought religion to Africa and we love you for that. Because me, I am so prayerful. I think at some point when I kneel down to pray, God is like, again? <laughs> you just prayed. No, I pray. So my, every chance I get, every chance I get. So thank you for bringing religion. But I think that should have been enough. <laughs> we, we let you bring that, you should have been satisfied with yourselves. I, I just want to know at what point, or oh, let's think, what was, what was that first white man or woman thinking about when they thought, when they, when they thought about kissing? <laughs> How bored were you? No, think, just think about it. You have your mouth, I have my mouth. Yeah? No, let's breathe in and just analyze the situation. Just think. I don't want you to laugh when you're going home. Come down, think. What was that person thinking about? So it is snowing outside. We cannot go shopping. The roads are probably closed. We are bored. You have your mouth, I have my mouth. 
There's juice to drink, but we are not going to drink it. There's food to eat, we shall not eat it. Let's just eat each other. That's like being idol in extremely extravagant levels. Like what? What? You didn't have what to do? You just had to turn on each other? And the whole theory, like, at what point they even put degrees, how to do it properly and how not to do it properly. So it's, then, you, then there's the lower lip, then the upper lip, then teeth, no. Then, uh, there's, they even put grades, like, idleness. You could have kept that to yourself. And I sit and wonder, man, okay, yes, you know, missionaries died, try to bring religion, we know about that. But I need you to imagine how many white people died trying to bring kissing to Africa. <laughs> Not think about it. Remember, there was cannibalism. So I want you to imagine you're trying to have a, conversa a normal conversation with a, a man. And before you even finish saying what you're saying, they're coming to eat you. <laughs> because you see, if someone opens their mouth and they are closed, you don't know that they intend to bite you. <laughs> because we didn't know what to expect. So I'm imagining how many white people were sacrificed for you to bring kissing to Africa. Congratulations. You suffered. You suffered. But it makes me think, what were our grand-grand-grandparents doing before kissing? It must have been hard. It must have Women, you know what I mean. You need to be given time. So I'm imagining before them bringing that, what were we doing? Weren't we suffering? Or they would get these long dresses with like 150 buttons. And the man would unbutton the first three from down, the first three from up, then go to the shops. Leave you there wondering, then they come back and button three, I reach here, and button three, reach here. Go and bring you juice. Then they come back and you're still waiting because they are trying to figure out how to, he's smiling, he, can, he remembers everything. <laughs> eh? He's remembering everything and the two of you are very smart by the way. Eh. When I grow up, I really want to be like you. I really do, no, no, that's true. You people, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you can always tell an old, couple and a young couple. People have just met each other and people who have been together for a very long time. This doesn't look like people who have been together for a long time. It looks like people who just met each other yesterday. So that goes to tell you what's going on. You, you see what I'm talking about? Because you can see the new couples. I'm seeing them. People who can't make me calm down. They are there pretend. They laugh and they're like, ha 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 and they have to touch their partner. Can't you laugh without doing it? <laughs> Must you get support from him simply because you are laughing? No, seriously, new couples, they really, really know how to throw it around. But now when you see it, now that's real. It's re nothing else. That's not fake. <laughs> At that age, and you can remember what... Because you know men, men's patience is this, 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 this thick. And they hate being interrupted. It does not matter. Even if he's just seated there, he's in his nothing box. He doesn't want you to ask him or interrupt what is going on in his head. But when it's a new relationship, you can interrupt him even if he's doing a number two. He doesn't care. He will, he will get out of the toilet and be like, what were you saying, baby? Because he loves you and he just met you. But at that age, and you try to interrupt, hey, you're risking. You have to do it at a distance. If you're close enough, you run yourself a slap. <laughs> so when I see that from you people, I only pray that God gives me half what he has given you Amen. with my husband. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. And I've been told, we've been going for counseling, me and my husband. We are also a normal couple. We fight and you see now the fact that I'm in that relationship, we are not normal. We are abnormal. Because that means we fight at levels that you and your partner do not fight. For us, we are at higher levels. <laughs> Very high. There's noise on that part of the... 
people here have paid <laughs> to laugh. They've not paid to come and struggle to hear me. <laughs> so please, please keep quiet so that we can enjoy their show. <laughs>